It's Tuesday, about 11 o'clock. I'm leaving now for the show in Illinois. I hope to do about seven hours on the road today. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to hit a shop or two in Ohio and drive the rest of the way. Uh, I do have to stop at the post office, another eBay sale, so that's kind of cool. Off to a great start. Uh, forgot my Easy Pass, so I... It was like 10, 15 minutes down the road, turned around and came back and got that. And then decided to go ahead and put out tomorrow's yard waste for my mom so she doesn't have to deal with that. Alright, so now it's almost 12. Still hoping to do 7, 7.5 hours. Stupid time change. I was starving at 4.30, so I stopped and hit McDonald's. Now it's 6.30, I'm getting gas. Don't know if I'll be hungry for supper, but still hoping to do about another hour, hour and a half in the room. Your life. So scared to do wrong that you can't do right. You're scared for your children, scared for your health. You're scared of the things that you tell yourself. For the dollars you just made Somebody else spent it to keep you afraid Fear is the devil, the devil is fear You're scared of what them folks might do Fear is the devil, the devil is fear You're scared of them <sighs> Classy room, smells like cigarette smoke Cause it's a smoking room Thanks Ohio Leaving my bag of clothes in the van I uh, don't want them to smell like smoke. Figure I'll just get whatever I'm going to wear tomorrow morning out before I shower. Door lock is very temperamental. <clears throat> and the toilet seems to run. Good times. Good, good times. Survived the smelly, smoky room. Um, stayed in Motel 6 before and really liked them. This one was a little run down, which doesn't really bother me, but dirty and s cigarette smoke is not ideal and loud neighbors so glad to be on the road this morning going to, about an hour and 15 minutes to the antique store I'm going to breakfast options here in town or McDonald's and Taco Bell so good thing I bought that giant pretzel yesterday which I still have 90% of Strong men cry, bold women weep. Your mind keeps churning, you can't sleep. You're scared for your money, scared for your life. Okay, one small purchase in there. Uh, neat, neat place, really big, um, almost too big, but would have liked to have found something else I could have actually made money on. I bought a bottle I'll ship to a friend, probably at cost. I um, was hoping to at least get some of the hotel calls back from last night. But now I'm headed to see John Jenkins for lunch. Uh, won't make any money, but I should get some good vlog footage at least. Welcome to Indiana. We will feed you and tell you of basketball. But your friends might say. Fear is the devil and the devil is fear. Escape birth to your dying day. Fear is the devil and the devil is fear. We wrote this song to set you free. Don't 
Satan's lies again. Fear is the devil, and the devil is fear. I fall down nine times, but I stand up ten. Fear is the devil, and the devil is fear. I will never be afraid again. All right, much nicer hotel room this time. Uh, luxury here in Arcola at the Best Western. No complaints. Not a, not a smelly, smoky room either. Well, TV probably works actually, which was didn't happen last night. Thank you, Dinner looks pretty good. Second highest rated restaurant in town. Granted, there's only five, and one of them is Subway, and one of them is McDonald's. So, although I did get the hot fudge sundae from McDonald's too. Beautiful view. Okay, it's uh, set up morning. I'm getting ready to leave the hotel. Um, a little bit late, but here's that setup began whenever they got the building ready which was over an hour ago I hate to miss any time of setup because of buying but uh, workout was important glad I got it in um, still struggling a bit with the time change you know Sunday was uh, Sunday we moved the clocks back and then of course I'm in a different time zone now so it's, it's all weird I'm gonna go to bed at nine o'clock and I want to eat dinner at four o'clock so it's all weird but uh, get ready to go set up We'll see how it goes. So I'm in the corner, it's super bright in here, but I brought the light so I feel like I should use them because I did ask for electricity, not realizing how bright it would be. I think I want to put a table over there, put the lights up there just to give it a little bit of light in that corner. Really wish I knew what I was doing at this point, but I don't. Just winging it, it's normal. Electricity didn't work, so the lights are coming down. Did it again, once of champions. Had to contact John for reinsurance about putting that table up against the wall. Kind of thought about dragging it out into the middle of the booth, but I don't think there's enough room. I put these together I, for some stupid reason tried to put the top on upright and threw the pins in the hole which is obviously much more difficult than it dawned on me now I just put the flat and stick them in one of those things that once it dawns on you you feel so stupid for having even tried it another way I'm gonna shoot back to the hotel where the second location is to go shop that while they're setting up a few of those dealers have already been over to my location I've sold one thing thus far and bought one thing, so each is a little disappointing. Would rather sell a lot more and buy a lot more. Bought two things, uh, two snuff bottles. This one's cracked, but it's got a cool line through the bottom. Um, priced right, so I had to buy it. Also got this one, not cracked, uh, pretty good shape. Happy with those purchases.
it's show day, but uh, we don't open until 11. Another show 15 miles up the road opens at 8. I'm running a little bit late probably. Um, won't be standing around a line, which I don't like to do, but I won't get video of the line. Gonna go up there and see if I can't buy something before I go and do last minute show preps. Okay, I shopped the three shows really quickly, didn't buy anything, uh, some neat stuff, but nothing I really thought I needed to have. I'm going to head back to my show now, finish setting up. We open in two hours. Homemade cinnamon buns, one dollar. Our show's second location opens tonight at 5 o'clock, so I'm going to run down and check that out before it opens. I skipped the other show that opened at 2. That was in town like 15 minutes away, but our show didn't really end until about 2.30, and I just didn't feel like running over there. So I went back down, and I found these two things right before, right as the show was opening. Carnival Knockdown, marked Ed. Kind of a funky, cool thing. Matchstick holder. Probably give the cat to my mom. It's actually her birthday today. Happy birthday, mom. You only live once. Just checked out of the hotel room. It's the uh, final day of the show. It's Saturday. We're open 9 to 3. I'm going to get there probably like 5 minutes early, but... Another show opened today at 8 in the morning for the first time, so I suspect most people will be there. We won't have a huge crowd right at 9, but hopefully we have a good day. It's super cold here, uh, like under 30 degrees I think at night, maybe down low 20s at night, and uh, frost in the windshields and stuff, so that should be fun for pack out in the 30s. Yes, we're here talking about... No, I'll, I'll put that number there. Nice. You'll be here. You'll be famous. Yeah. I'm uh, finished boxing up everything for the most part, except for the few boxes I had in my van during the show. But I'm getting ready to pull my van over to the lot. Looks like some good parking for me, actually, because... I'm just a van and not one of the guys with the trailer, and the trailers have to go on the one side of the lot where I can pull right into our normal parking spot. Um, and it's over like 35 degrees now, whereas it was 20 this morning when I left for the show. So, uh, And it's sunny, so it actually doesn't feel too bad. Okay, it's, uh, it's like 10 of 5, finally packed out, getting ready to head on the road, driving to um, Johnny Jenkins' house so we can talk more about Nashville, but he's actually going to let me crash on his couch, which is super cool because it's been a lot of money coming out here. He probably won't let me do it next time because he'll see this video and see that I call him Johnny. But uh, it took a, I'm not the last out, which is good. I'm about the middle, but it took a lot longer than I thought it was. At 3.30, I thought, oh, man, I'll be out here by 4.15. At 4, I thought, eh. I'll be out of here by 4.30. At 4.30, I thought, well, I hope I'm done by 5. And, of course, it turned out to be almost 5 o'clock. So, time to get on the road. Hey, I'm on the road. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I have 10 hours of driving. I uh, had a great dinner last night. Enjoyed talking with John. Uh, thanks to his hospitality, I was able to save money and not use a hotel. So, that's good. 
feeling a little numb, not looking forward to the 10 hour, 10 hour drive. It's uh, a little worn out from shows. It was a good show. Wish I had sold more. Probably did not make a profit. Um, well run show. Lots of people. Um, not sure if I could do it again, if I could bring be different stuff. Not necessarily better, but just bring a different type of stuff and would I sell better? I don't know. I have to, decision I have to make down the road, but uh, it's twice a year, but really well run show. Thankful for the promoters for letting me give it a try. Um, I have to consider whether I want to do it again, but definitely a well run show. I was starting to yawn, get tired, so I had to stop. I was hoping to make it another hour or two before my first stop. Two o'clock, lunchtime, and gas fill up again. More McDonald's. Don't even like it that much, but it's awfully convenient on the road and not much fast food out here that I do like, so. Only fast food place at this stop I wanted to eat at. The worst thing about lunch was that maybe five miles down the road at the next exit, there was a shopping mall with a Chipotle. And then while I was getting gas, the gas station billed me for the gas, but also billed me for another $150 on my credit card. And so I had to go ahead and dispute that and dispute that charge and cancel my credit card. Great thing to happen to my only credit card on the way home. Huh. Still about two hours and 45 minutes to go, probably an hour and 45 minutes or an hour and a half before I stop for dinner, um, about six o'clock here. Made it to a rest stop, had to walk around a little bit. My back's been killing me for like the last two to three hours, just tight and everything, but eh, nothing like a 10 hour drive in one day. <sighs> All right, happy to be home. It's 9.30, so 11 and a half hours on the road today. Super glad to be finished. Don't know whether I want to kiss the ground just to be home or throw up because dinner and lunch were so awful. Uh, happy to be home. Thanks for watching along. Peace and see you next time.